Hello everyone and welcome to our yet another discussion on uh, IS41 which deals with agriculture. This is our lecture number two in which we are going to discuss uh, agricultural produce and of course in this lecture we are going to discuss a number of things and among those we have uh, first of all the key definition of agricultural produce and then we shall move into a discussion on the examples of agricultural produce and then we shall look at the recognition and measurement criteria given in accounting standard 41 and then we shall look at the presentation requirements in the standard uh, we shall look at we shall look at bare uh, biological assets and then we shall uh, support our discussion with an exam type question now of course before we move into this lecture we just want to uh, you to know that harvest uh, learning media has uh, uploaded a variety of online uh, lectures and you can take these lectures anytime anywhere you want and these are self-paced uh, lectures we also have uh, live lectures if you want you can still uh, have these uh, through our online lecture platform so you can access our online lecture platform uh, on our website uh, www.harvestuganda.com or send us a whatsapp message where we can link you up straight away onto these very, very uh, nice and informative lectures. So moving into our lecture, we begin by giving a definition of agricultural produce. Of course, here we begin by asking ourselves what is agricultural produce? We begin by asking ourselves what is agricultural produce? So according to International Accounting Standard 41, uh, agricultural produce refers to the harvested product of an entity's biological assets. Agricultural produce refers to the harvested product of the entity's biological uh, assets. And of course, in the second bit, we are saying that agricultural produce is diverse and may require uh, further processing. Agricultural produce is diverse and may require further processing before ultimate consumption. Okay, agricultural produce is diverse and may require further processing before ultimate uh, consumption. So here what we are saying is that in most cases our agricultural produce may require further processing before it is consumed uh, maybe by the end users who may have purchased this from the agricultural uh, enterprise. So we continue by looking at some of the examples of agricultural produce and of course we looked at this in our lecture number one where we illustrated what the biological asset may be, what the agriculture activity may be. So I bring it back here. And of course, in the illustration, we are saying that uh, you have a farmer who buys a calf, okay? You have a farmer who buys a dairy calf. So the dairy calf or the calf is a biological asset, okay? The calf is a biological asset. And here we are saying that the calf grows into a mature cow, okay? So if the, if the calf grows into a mature cow, then uh, the growth, the process of growth is what we may term as biological transformation. And uh, in that discussion, of course, we mentioned that in most cases, our cultural enterprises uh, hold uh, animals for a biological transformation. Of course, if an animal grows, then you know that that comes with some kind of commercial uh, benefit. So we continue in our illustration by saying that when the farmer milks the mature cow, the milk is what we shall call the agricultural uh, produce. Okay, the milk is the agricultural produce, and milk has been harvested at that point. Okay. So, of course, we continue uh, by looking at the recognition and measurement for our agricultural produce as given in the accounting standard 41. And here in this slide, we are saying that according to the International Accounting Standard 41, at the date of harvest, the agricultural produce should be recognized and measured at fair value less estimated point of sale costs. So as of course you know, fair value keeps on changing with time. So the fair value of our agricultural produce for this uh, case is going to be determined at the point of harvest. We are going to determine the fair value of our harvested um agriculture produce at the point of harvest but of course before we recognize the fair value we have to deduct the estimated point of sale costs 
So uh, because of that treatment, now we are saying that this is in line uh, with the treatment of the biological assets from which the produce is harvested, which is also valued at fair value less estimated cost uh, of sale or what I may call the estimated point of sale costs. So uh, the treatment of agricultural produce in terms of recognition measurement is indeed in line with the uh, treatment for biological assets, uh, which we have already discussed that biological assets are measured and organized at the fair value less estimated cost uh, of sale or estimated point of sale cost. And of course, you all know uh, from our previous discussion or from the illustration we just had on the previous slide, we have seen that agricultural produce will be derived from biological assets. It is the biological assets that give us the agricultural produce. So uh, for uh, matching purposes, the treatment is ideally the same. So we continue uh, by mentioning that because of the above treatment for agricultural produce, the gains and losses on initial recognition are included in profit or loss or the operating profit for the period that the gains and losses that arise on initial recognition are included in profit or loss or the operating profit for the uh, for the period. So we continue in the slide by saying that after uh, after produce has been harvested, after produce has been harvested, it now becomes an item of inventory. After our agricultural produce has been harvested, it becomes an item of inventory. Therefore, the International Accounting Standard 41 ceases to apply from that point onwards. The International Accounting Standard 41 ceases to apply from that point onwards. So we continue by mentioning that the initial measurement value at the point of harvest is deemed the cost inventories which is applied from that point uh, onwards. Uh, so, uh, of course, as we are saying here in our discussion, uh, saying that when uh, the agricultural produces are harvested, it now becomes inventories. And of course, you all know from our previous lecture on IS2 inventories, we mentioned that inventories are measured at the lower of cost uh, or net realizable value. And of course, on initial recognition, we would ideally measure our inventories at cost. So, um, we continue our discussion by saying that in break number three, by saying that the change in the current amount of the agricultural produce held at year end should be organized as income and expenses in profit or loss. So we continue by looking at the presentation uh, requirement in accounting standard 41. And, and here we are saying that our agricultural produce should be classified as inventory in the statement of financial position and disclosed separately either in the statement of financial position or in the notes. Because you all know that the notes uh, will feed into our financial statement. So here we're saying that uh, the agricultural produce should be classified as inventory, as we have seen the previous slide, uh, should be classified as inventory in the statement of financial position and disclosed separately either in the statement of financial position or in the notes. So, of course, uh, there is this other issue of the bearer biological assets. As we have mentioned, agricultural produce will be harvested from biological assets. So, there are these uh, assets that we call bearer biological assets. Those are the assets that give us uh, our agricultural produce. So, we need to know the treatment of bearer biological assets. So, in the slide, we are saying that uh, the bearer biological assets are animals or plants that bear produce for harvest, okay? The bearer biological assets are animals or plants that bear produce for harvest. And of course, here we are giving examples of the dairy cattle and uh, grapes, uh, among many other categories of these biological assets. So uh, the bearer biological assets are those that are going to give us the agricultural produce, okay? So we are saying in the blade but that um, the bearer biological assets are not within the scope of international country standard 41. So that's why I had to bring this one here so that you don't mix it up in the examination. We are saying that the bearer biological assets are not within the scope of international country standard 41 and hence should be accounted for under international country standard 16 property, plant, and equipment. So look out for this in the examination. Do not uh, account for the bearer biological assets uh, under I International Accounting Standard 41. Of course, in our lecture number one, we saw how to deal with the non-bearer 
uh, biological assets and of course those ones are accounted for under international accounting standard 41 so here we are saying that in the second date that the bearer and the bearer biological assets are not within the scope of international accounting standard 41 and hence should be accounted for uh, under the international accounting standard 16 that handles property plant and equipment so we continue in the third bullet by saying that agricultural produce from these plants continues to be recognized under international accounting standard 41 international accounting standard 2 the agricultural produce that comes from these bare biological assets continues to be recognized under international accounting standard 41 or international accounting standard 2 so we shall support our foregoing discussion with an activity and in activity three we have karaoke karaoke wines limited is a company that grows and harvests grapes uh, the grapes are then sold to wine producers karaoke uh, limited measures assets at fair value when permitted by accounting standards and we continue by saying that the company has one vineyard on the first of july 2019 the land had a fair value of 200 million and the vines had a fair value of 50 million on the 30th of June 2020, the company harvested the grapes from its vines. Uh, the fair value of the grapes is 40 million, and the fair value of the vines is 52 million, while the fair value of the land was 210 million. Uh, all selling costs are negligible and should be ignored, and we are required to discuss the accounting treatment uh, of the above in the financial statements of the company for the year ended 30 June 2020. So uh, for the solution to this activity, uh, you need to go to your accounts on our lecture platform, download the uh, lecture video so that you can go through and um, test your skill of how to account for uh, the uh, biological assets together with the agricultural produce in the financial statements of an entity. So with that, I will leave you to read through the question again, okay, read through the question again, and then download um, our video so that you can be able to go through to understand how to account for agricultural produce in the books of the entity.